Yeah, g'day bush camping tools here. We're out here, as you can see again, in the mountains. Uh, we're doing a lot of traveling, and we're out uh, looking for mushrooms. As I said in the previous video, the tail end of the mushrooms, it's been raining a lot. Up here in the mountains, there should be some good mushrooms to pick. We're gonna see what we can do. Got with me a fixed blade and a folder, camera, lots of warm clothing. You can see the weather's really kind of bad. It's about nine degrees at the moment. Anyway, let's get moving mushroom for the day a buff ball and we'll take that yeah okay there you go all right let's move on there might be some more I think there's some more around whoops that's exactly what I didn't want to do Close that. okay let's move on all right look at that beauty buff ball fantastic okay going to get these they're fantastic let's put that one down there there's a lot here zip up zip up the pack let's see get in the habit okay cut them off low to the ground come on they're beauties low to the ground right low 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 Look at that, puffballs everywhere. Let's go over here. It's a beauty, okay. Right, what I'm doing here is I'm just using the saw back on this just, uh, this is conifer and it's pretty strong actually and I don't want to make too much of it. It's just to weaken it a bit so I can snap it, you know, in there. It's pretty handy for that. See that there? Yeah, just to weaken it a bit. when you don't want to swing things, because the wood's so hard, this wood and it's so thin, you start, you know, you chop it, it, it moves too much, you gotta hold it. It's not worth it, it's swinging a lot of, wasting a lot of energy. That's a woodpecker up there. This is really wet, this wood on here, but in the middle of it is actually some fat wood which is this right okay which will not which is not rotten and and this will burn but we've got to get rid of all this wet wood so the heartwood is is um well, this would have been the set would it that smells pretty good is some fat wood in there okay so we can expose that uh and and here you can see it in here too you see this bit in there right all right that's that's a bit of Oops, that's a bit of fat wood. Okay, it's not much, but, and there's even more in here. Let me put this over here for a minute. In here, see that, that, that hard stuff in there? That's a bit of fat wood in here. Um, This is a strong tip on this, so I'm not worried about busting it. See, that's a bit of fat wood in here, this. So, even though this outside wood is wet, we can still get some fat wood. There you go, a stub of fat wood. And you can see that's a bit there too, see? Just see that orange bit. Why don't I try and cut it here? Yeah, got it. Okay, and that would ignite. It's not much, but you know, when the wood's all wet, there's still a bit left in there. In there. Okay, let's move on. Whoops. <coughs> that should take. Wood's a bit damp, but that'll go. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna use the saw to neatly take off this branch. 
see that? Nice and neat. Because what we're going to use this as a skewer, okay? Hold on. Put the sausages on. Anyone can light a fire in the in the uh, dry, but can you light a fire in the rain? I'll make a skewer here. Uh, Pretty versatile knife, this uh, combat tech. It's pretty you can't buy them anymore, really. I do do like it. I find, you know, it's a useful design. Eat with this. It's pretty cold, as I said. It's nine degrees outside up here in the mountains. You can see, uh, I'll show you in a minute, but it's going to skewer these sausages. This is an easy way to have a barbecue in the middle of nowhere of sorts. And whoop, they're wrapped around some dough. Whoops. Just whip them over there. And let's see what we can do here with this. And just put them over the fire. Like that. So here we are, out and about. Overcast, there's the pack under the tree. We're only a couple of kilometers away from civilization, but it's a nice to get out there. It's the forest, we were looking for some mushrooms up there. You saw earlier on, we found a lot of puffballs, but uh, as I said now, we just decided to concentrate on having a bit of a barbecue here. Okay, so here we are cooking sausages in the wilds, essentially. Got my son out here with me. I'm doing the camera work here. Uh, yeah, as I said, anyone can light a fire in the dry, but how about in the rain? Nine degrees, everything's wet, but it's getting there and it looks and smells pretty tasty. All right, catches all later. Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching. Okay, got some great puffballs here. I think these are pretty good. We'll see. Yeah, they look pretty good. Look at that one. And look over here, cameraman. Got another one here. This one's actually already being bumped off by cows, probably, up here in the summer meadows. So just to give you an idea of the size, you see that? Okay, all right, let's move on and see if we can find some more around the place. Okay, so I just found these. These are some Sonella Lepiotas and they're fantastic. Just have a look at this, hold on. Let's, oh, they're right in a spiky bush. I cut one of them here. These are very good. Look at that. That's a beauty. Can you see that? How big it is? It's a beauty, okay?